Hey guys, what's up? As promised, here is the in-depth review of the Nike Air Fear of God Ones. Here is the box. You can see here it says very faintly Fear of God written on top. If you can see there, there is a Nike swoosh sign there. And going around the box. And looks like that's about it. There's the label. Nike Air Fear of God. Color is black and black. And let's go ahead and take the lid off and dive into this bad boy. Okay. Once you get in, you'll see you have this nice shoe bag. It is very good quality shoe bag. Definitely think this is as durable as a shoe bag as you need. Really thick. Here's the packet. Uh, as mentioned in the last video, I am not keeping these shoes, so I will not open this um, packet up. It looks like it rips, and then there's a Ziploc baggie here. So from what I heard, it's some type of hang tags, and maybe an also, it does feel like there's an extra set of laces in there, so I assume it's a hang tag and laces. If I can find a picture on, on the internet, I'll put it up in the corner of the screen somewhere over there. But for now, um, I won't open it up, because if you open it, you keep it. I'm not keeping these. So let's go ahead and let's look at the shoe. So each shoe comes in its own separate bag. There's the left shoe. And I'll go ahead and pull out the right shoe. So uh, let me go ahead and get these situated. Okay, so here are the shoes. And just gonna go around the shoe to the front toe box is suede. Um, it looks as though it's a, it's a good premium suede. It does appear a little bit ashy, but I kind of expect that with good suede. So you can see there it does swipe back and forth. You can see the suede moving. This is a little plastic toe guard that is 3M. So you'll see in certain photos that this appears to be silver or white. So I had someone question that on a picture I posted. They actually um, thought my shoes were fake because the picture made this look silver. This is a really clean design shoe. It's pretty plain going around. It does have a nice little cage here. This here is like a, it's a regular fabric material. Probably like a polyester blend there and nice rope laces. This is rubber. Um, on the side here, there is Fear of God. And then it has this here, these numbers here, which I I think I, um, I heard that those are dog tag numbers, so I don't have to dig more into it, but I think those are personalized, they mean something, uh, dog tag numbers, so I'll check on that. Uh, the back does have Fear of God written on it. That's the only spot on the shoe that actually has Fear of God as far as I can tell, but we'll dig deeper. Uh, it does have a nice little Nike emblem on the back. I think it's a clean look. In the back it also has the zipper to zip down. And you have like some type of an ankle or shin guard on the inside here. This is unique to the Fair of God ones. The shoot arounds do not have this piece in here as well as this outer uh, plastic cage. Um, this is neat. It also is covered in, on the outside it has suede on the outside. So that is, that's cool. That's what you get for that extra bit of money that you're spending on this. The bubble is really cool. Um, I think I actually did see it on one other like Air Max shoe, but it wasn't even exactly like this. Uh, but you can see here, you can see the swoosh line through there. I think that's the whole air element. It's really unique. Uh, like it doesn't protrude or anything. So it's pretty flush with the rest of the sole. And bringing us around. And looking at the quality, this, the suede does have like wrinkles I see like here. I've never worn these, never put them on or tried them on. However, the toe box, you would look at it and think it might have had a foot in there. 
and maybe bent it once or twice, but no, that's not the case. That's just probably how these are. These are Nike, so you're gonna have your flaws. Um, what, speaking of flaws, I do notice uh, right off the bat, there are glue spots. With all this black, the glue spots do show up quite easily going around here. And you can see in here and in there. So there are some glue spots. Um, they're not perfect. This is glued up top here and you can see some there. Side of the shoe, uh, the lining is actually pretty nice. Look at that. I don't know what material it is. It's like a felt material. It's not suede. It's softer than the suede out here, but you can tell it's more of a man-made material. Um, let's pull these shoestrings out. It comes with white shoestrings and whatever else are in that, that packet that we won't open up. And if I can get some light in here. Let's see if I can move the light. It does, oh, has that same, oh, I don't know what those numbers are on the inside. It does have numbers, I don't know if you can see that. But the numbers are 06, 10, 24, 25. Never seen anything about the relevance of those numbers. Um, so I'm curious to find out what those are for. And going up the front here has this, this tab, this pull tab, and then this stitching strap all the way up. I mean, it's, there's not really much to talk about about the shoe. It's a pretty unique, clean design. I mean, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a pretty neat shoe. Let's look at the, the right shoe here. And from left to right shoe, there is no differences. Looks like they're exact opposites of each other. And you can see here also how this shoe has wrinkles here and here. So yeah, it does have that, that look like they've been worn. No, I've never worn them. And I picked them directly up from Foot Locker early in the morning. No time for nobody to wear them and return them. <laughs> I doubt that they were returnees anyway. Um, and you can see here, like, look at that there. It's a little lumpiness. It looks, I don't know. That doesn't look quite, quite right. But again, Nike quality. Mass produced shoe. I mean, it is a limited quick strike shoe, but it's still mass produced. Here, it's got a little lumpiness. Yeah, not a perfect shoe. It's a nice shoe. Um, is it worth 350, 380 is what I paid because I picked them up in New York? Uh, well, it's worth it to me because I'm probably gonna sell these for a lot more than I paid for them. Prices were initially in the eight to 850 range. Now that um, people are starting to get their pairs in, prices are dropping. So I don't know where they're gonna stabilize at. Uh, if you get these to flip, you're still gonna be able to make more money than what you paid for them. I don't see them going anywhere near the uh, $350 to $400 range. They'll probably stay somewhere up in the seven to eights. I mean, I could be wrong. At the time you watch this video, they could be selling for 350, who knows, but, or they could be selling for a thousand. Um, but I probably won't hold on these too much longer. I will let them go. So that's that, I, I really like these shoes. I, I would wear these, they seem like a cool lifestyle shoe. Um, I'm not really a baller, so I wouldn't be you know, playing with basketball in them, but I would definitely wear them, you know, for casual casual use. Tell me if you, uh, if you like them, if you got them, if you plan on getting them, or if you think they're just complete trash. But uh, either way, let me know what you think. And uh, if you have any answers to some of those questions I had, go ahead and put it down in the comments so other people can, um, can learn from you. Like hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, if you didn't subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can catch my next videos. It might be shoe, it might be car, you never know. You'll have to tune in to find out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. What we do here is go back, 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 back.